and we have more upgrade parts that should be delivered today but they have not yet oh yeah there we go just run that over there we go yeah didn't need that Okay, so you are putting on new arms, right? You are upgrading to new arms. Instead of just tearing apart everything and then having like a pile of screws and hardware laying there, what you wanna do is take the other part, the new part, set it in front of its counterpart and then move each screw over. So like I just took out that set screw and put it there. Now I'm gonna pull this pin out and put it there. Oh my God, dude. I am plagued with issues. All right, so this is the shop pin that comes out of the stock arm. It is supposed to go like this into here and then you put your shock on that and then you tighten down that screw and then this, this pin won't move no more. Well, look. It is all the way down and I got that much still hanging out of it so it doesn't fit <laughs> come on guys if y'all are gonna sell parts like this at least tell somebody that you need all this extra crap to make it compatible the I mean the way they market it and sell it that it's just a swap and it even says on the page that they're just they're they're interchangeable with the stock components well this is not interchangeable so I think what I'm gonna do since I cannot cut this because I need that little notch at the end the only thing that I I could drill it out but then if I drill it out that will put the notch way past the screw where the screw needs to lock into that 
So, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think on this. Back to the shock thing. This is what I've de um, determined to do. I have drilled out that so this way this pin will sit all the way inside flush. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the pin all the way in and then we're going to take a marker and mark it about right there on the screw and then I'm going to grind a flat spot into it so that way the reset screw has something to bite into so that way because you don't want to cut these or nothing because if it's not working you have to go back to the originals you're going to need the original pin so So you can see here that it lights up and it's showing that there's a little fucking bitch man. Okay so I got it plugged in and it's currently showing 11.42 volts. That's pretty cool. Now let's see. I think if I disconnect it, uh, let's see here, there should be a prong reader on here somewhere, oh yeah, right there, prong reader. I believe you always start from the inside and plug it in, whoop. Okay, so if you look here, this is great. It's telling me that the battery is 28% charged. Can you see that? It's 28% charged, and then it's showing me the cells, the individual cells, and it's showing me that they're low. Each cell has about 3.7 volts in it. That should be about four volts a piece, I believe. Um, but yes, this is what this does. There's no guessing whether or not if this battery needs to be charged or not this little smart checker tells us everything i think this is going to be an amazing tool then leave a like comment below and as always see you guys in the next one continue the upgrade kraken kraken crouton the upgraded crouton yes i like my croutons on my kraton what there's my rabbit. I couldn't find her. She's like in this tall field of grass. You see? Real tall grass. And that's all I saw was the top of them ears hanging out. And I was like, what is that? So I come over here. And there's my bunny. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What you doing? Hmm? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Don't be pregnant. Don't be pregnant. Usually when rabbits start doing this kind of thing, it's a sign that they might be pregnant. Or they may be wanting to be pregnant and they can't get pregnant, so they still kind of go through the motions of being pregnant. Right, little girl? I don't know. She is kind of getting big. You are getting kind of big. <laughs> Alright, back to the RC car.